Hi, this is Tim with Fit to the Core Training Systems. Today I'm going to uh, go over some uh, interval training for beginners, for intermediate and advanced. So the first section of this video I'm going to show you guys a couple options for beginners. Uh, the first two options we're going to do is going to be some light body weight stuff where I'll have uh, someone jogging in place for 30 seconds. You'll see there'll be two different options on your cardio days for, inter for the beginner, intermediate and advanced, which is going to be 30 seconds, 90 second rest or recovery the first time, first day, first workout. Uh, the second one is going to be 60 seconds and 180 second rest. So we're going to have those two different options during the week. So that's all going to depend on what you can do. Now remember for the beginners here, the first one I'm going to show is that we'll just do some light body weight stuff. Uh, it could be as simple as walking up a hill because we'll be doing hill sprints. We'll be doing uh, sprints on the uh, grass for the intermediate intermediate and advanced but for beginners simply just walking up a hill for 60 seconds can actually be for them an interval because it's really going to get their heart rate up so I'm going to show two options for beginners two for intermediate and two for advanced okay this first circuit is going to be for beginners Catherine's going to do a 30 second jog in place and then she's going to do her rest period which is 90 seconds just going to be some uh, light squatting calisthenics kind of stuff so she's going to go and then I'm going to tell her when to go and this is going to be a little 30 second, 90 second uh, interval. Ready and go. So just make sure when you're doing this jog, you're using, pumping your arms and you're, ball, and you're coming on the balls of your feet. She's got 10 more seconds to go now. Five more seconds. And good. So now she's going to rest for 90 seconds, so let's have her do some squats for 30 seconds. So right now she just do squats. If you can't get into a deep squat, you can just do a quarter squat. And there's a couple things you can do this, this rest period. If the jogging really gets your heart rate up and kills you, then you just walk around for 90 seconds. She's got five more seconds on the squat. Good. Now she can do something as simple as just uh, pogo jumps on her toes. That's something simple you can do for the next 60 seconds. Because remember, this is a 30, 90 second interval. And it, like I said, if that jogging is too much for you, then you just walk, walk on the field. Walk on the field until your heart rate gets down for your next set. She's got 10 more sets of these pogo jumps. And I'll show you an example of what you can do. So we've got three, two... One, she's got 30 more seconds, so now she could just walk back and forth the field. You got a whole field to walk back here. And this is just going to depend on how tired those that jogging, squatting, you can use all types of stuff to, to for your rest interval. We want really that jogging to be your high intensity interval, something like we were thinking of a level exertion of 10. And remember, this is just one example. There's a million different ways you can do this. You can use a recumbent bike elliptical machine you can walk on a treadmill okay now she's going to start the next circuit which would be the jogging next the next workout on the sample program i'm giving you is going to be a 60 second uh work where we want it to be a level 10 and then 90 set and 180 second recovery which would be three minutes so it's a one to three work ratio one minute of work 90 seconds of recovery so she's just going to simply walk up the hill and for beginners this is a pretty steep hill here so it's going to take you a good 60 seconds to walk up it, and I can guarantee this is going to really get that heart rate going. I can absolutely guarantee that. You might not be able to tell at the angle of this camera, but that's a pretty steep hill. She's already almost at 30 seconds now. Now she's at 30 seconds, and you can see at the top there, it's starting to get really steep. Right at the finishing of that top. She's got about 20 seconds to go. And now she's really got to dig in. This is, right, this is where it gets even more intense now because that last part there is very, very steep. She's got 10 seconds to go. This is perfect if you only make it halfway up the hill in 60 seconds and you only make it halfway. And now that's 60. Stop! So she made it up. Guess what? You take the recovery down. you got three minutes to recover. So she's just going to scale down the hill. Okay, this next one is going to be for intermediate. She's going to do burpees now for 30 seconds. Go. 
just going to do this for 30 seconds. This right here is going to be the intense part of that, inter that 30 second interval. So today she's going to do burpees. Then she's just going to jog after this. The jog is the level five. It's a 50, it's a 50, uh, 50 percent, uh, if you want to think about it, intensity. So we're just using a level 10, which could you think of 100 percent exertion. Think of level uh, five as a, a 50 percent uh, level of exertion. She's got three more seconds to go here. Okay, that's her 30 seconds. Now she's going to go jog, go, for 90 seconds. If you're at a park, all you got to do is jog. Jog around. You got a bit, you know, there's plenty of open spaces. And my advice is to use them if you have time. There's nothing better than getting outside, get, getting some sun, getting some fresh air to do your intervals. And that's one right, that's right there, one example is so simple that you can really use effective interval training. And believe me, 30 seconds of burpees starts to take its toll as you start to uh, go, through, go through the number of uh, rounds specific for that training week and day. So there you have it. That right there was about a minute. So you would, you're going to see on the uh, program I'm going to give you, it's going to explain exactly how many rounds you should do. That was a 30 second interval, that was only about a 60 second jog, but you would do a 30 second burpees, then you're going to do a 90 second jog. Okay, these are going to be what I call shuttle runs, there's going to be little 25 yard shuttle runs, you can make it 10 yards, you can make it 15 yards, you're going to notice it's going to, she's going to be stopping and going on this particular interval. We're going to do this one for 60 seconds, go! So she's got, a, she picked two points of reference. You're going to see that she swings her hips around, plants, and it comes right back. So she's sprinting between these little 25 yard intervals here. That right there was about 10 seconds. So she's taking about 10 seconds, so that was about 7 seconds. She's got 10 more seconds to go to get us to 30 seconds. So she's already halfway through right now. So these can get pretty intense. You're sprinting in between these guys. Then you're stopping and going. It takes a lot of energy to be able to plant and go. So you can see you're getting a lot of core work here. You're getting good work in the legs when you get down. It's almost like doing a lateral squat. Right now she's hitting her 50 second mark. This is her last 10 seconds here. Usually you might be able to get four of these done. You know, back and forth there would be a total of eight actually. Right now that's one minute. Stop. So you do that for a minute. And then simply after that, you jog. You jog after that. There you go. That could be a nice three minute jog. And if that really kills you, remember it's perceived exertion. If a walk is 50% perceived exertion for you, then you walk until the walk is no longer 50%. And then a jog takes it to 50%. So it's gonna be specific to everybody. Everybody's level five and level 10 perceived exertion is gonna be different with these workouts. So that's one, that's a really good example, two examples of, for intermediates on the 30 and 60 second intervals. I'm only really gonna show you one advanced version of this. So I'm not gonna, well, yeah. here's the first one we're gonna do. We're gonna do a 30 second sprint of the hill. You saw for the beginner, it was a walk. You saw for the advanced over there, we did uh, sprinting on the flat ground. Now we're gonna do an advanced version of our cardio. This is the 30 second, 90 second rest interval. You sprint, you walk down. Once you hit your 90 second rest, you go again. Ready, set, go. So she's just gonna sprint up the hill and you're gonna find that a sprint is just maximal effort. Doesn't mean you're gonna see her moving fast because she's fighting gravity up this hill. And she's working it, working it. It's gonna take you all, her almost as long to sprint up it as she walk because she's got 10 seconds left now. She's almost at the top of the hill. Right when you get to that point, it gets steep and it gets hard. Your legs are heavy. Good, so that right there, right there was a, a 30 second sprint. Uh, she uh, would now, she would just walk down the hill. By the time she got down here, it'd probably be 90 seconds. Like I said, there's a lot more ways to do stuff like this. There's body weight, you could use kettlebells, you could actually do stuff with weights. You could do kettlebell swings for 60 seconds and the rest 90 seconds. There's a lot of different options for this type of stuff. So you got one good example there on the uh, advanced training as far as sprints concerned.